Now let's practice now one way ANOVA. Suppose we have this same example that we were working before and we have three times of no taking methods and then we have the GPA change. Suppose to, you only want to know if there is any differences between using one method, method one or two or the control uh, in the GPA. So in that case, we will analyze. You can go here, compare means one way ANOVA is here. But I usually don't go there because one way ANOVA in SPSS doesn't provide me the effect size and I need to know the effect size. But if you go to general linear model univariate, you can find it. I already moved here the change in GPA and the no taking method. You will go to options and uh, you move the method here and click compare effects descriptive the statistics estimated effect size and uh, homogeneity of the test and then you click ok and because we already format our tables on APA please watch that video if you haven't watched it look it's beautiful now it's in APA everything is in APA what we need in, in one way ANOVA, we really need the means and standard deviations. Um, I can see that you know the, the method one have a higher mean in the change of GPA. Apparently the method one the method two is better than one. So that's the reason we go to the significant, we check in method, and yes it is significant. So the difference between method one and two and control is significant. And um, if we wa want to know where exactly is this significant, we will have to go to pairwise comparisons. And we have method one versus method two. It is significant and it's showing negative because this J is negative. This, so that means this is larger than that one. So it's telling you method two is better than method one. Okay. So now we want to create a table, so we will need the first table we need in APA is the descriptive statistics. And uh, we can actually change directly here. You right click, you get edit content in viewer. And I will change this to two decimals. You highlight, right click, go to cell properties, uh, format value, and I want only two decimals beautiful perfect and you also can change the title of a standard deviation I double click and I put ST and mean you know mean is M okay so we have beautiful APA here let me just go down here uh, this will look good I probably will change this title and this title. So again, I can double click. Uh, mean square is MS and significant is lowercase p. And I don't need to do more. And then I will go down for my third table, which is the pairwise comparisons. And it looks uh, we just only have to change here P. Lowercase P. Okay. This is a standard error. If you want to come change that, that's fine. Okay, the next step will be used to move this to a Microsoft Word document. So you go here, you copy. I already have prepared here my table one and my title. I will just click here. Make sure you don't continue with italics. And uh, paste. Okay, obviously you need to right click any place in the table. Just click any place in the table. Right click out of feed to window. Perfect. I have an extra space here. Nice, then I will put my table two. Um, this is so easy. You go here, 
So your table 2 will be your test between subject effects. Again, we use right click, copy, and paste. This is so easy. Then you right click, out of feed to window. Again, you have your table 2. I don't think you need to put another title if, unless you want to, but I think that's very explanatory. Okay, and you can have a third table, the pairwise comparison, that will be your table 3. And the table 3 will be, here it is your pairwise comparison. You copy, and paste it, and again try to click here, any place, right click. Out of here to window, look beautiful and looks fine to me. I can put this by one, I can put the standard error if I didn't do it before. Now, if you don't, some people don't like to see these two columns because it's very self explanatory with the other values. Uh, you can choose to delete those if you want. Okay, it is not, you just leave it like that. It looks great, and you have your beautiful three tables in APA. Now, if you want to see how it looks like, let me go view, I guess what layer, full screen. Look at this beautiful. Here is your table one, your table two. Uh, you take of course you have to you know move this table you cannot have the, the table in you know in code place but basically it's the two tables the three tables you, you cannot 